Hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Oh, good evening, sir. Welcome back. I'm having problem with my mouse. Okay. I'm ready to start now. It is a pleasure to see you again. I hope that you feel really good today in order that we can start talking about a new topic. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. Welcome. Oh, very, very well. The day uh, very busy in the work, but ready for the class. Okay, I like that. Okay, let me check up the attendance now. Let me adjust something here. It's much better. Okay, welcome back. Let me check the attendance. Hello, Galileo. How are you, Galileo? Hello, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Great. Great. Okay. Um, I'm glad to see you and my partners too. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. What about you, Misael? How do you feel today, Misael? Good evening, teacher. Good I'm evening, very teacher. good today. I'm very good. Okay. I came early to home. Oh, that is good. Uh huh. So I I could take a short rest before the oh. class. Oh, good, okay, nice. What about you, Anna Lillian? Hello. Are... I am back. I am sick. I have the flu. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. We hope that you feel better soon. Hello, Claudia, Raquel. Hi. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, nice. A pleasure to see you again. Uh, 
Hello, Carlos Escobar. I can hear you, Carlos, if you are talking. Can you hear me? No, just a little bit, so far away. Shady. I lost the power, I lost the power here. I do really sorry. Oops, I really sorry I lost the power here. For that reason, I lost the connection too. Okay, I'm back again. I really sorry. As I told you, uh, the power went off here for the reason I lost the connection, but I'm back. I hope that all of you can hear me very well. Very well. Okay. Yes, Mr. Okay, thank you. Let me check out the attendance now. I go here. Okay, um, Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Okay. Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Bautista. Present teacher. Escobar. Present. Claudia. Present. Francis Elizabeth. Present teacher. Welcome, Francis. Thank you, teacher. Galileo. Here, sir. Okay. Jonathan. Present, Mr. Okay. Jose Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present teacher. Laura. Present teacher. María Concepción. María Elena. Present teacher. Teacher. Hello. María Concepción escribió en el chat. Ajá, sí, dijo que, pero debe estar conectada. Es necesario que se, cuando tienen un imprevisto de ese tipo, es necesario que se conecten y al menos en el momentito eh, respondan al llamado para poderles contar la asistencia. Mayra. Present teacher. Ok. Miguel Ángel. Zaira, Zaira, it's not here. Santos Misael. Present teacher. Okay. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher, perdón, no podía activar el micrófono. María Concepción. 
No, Zaira, no podía activar el micrófono. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Zaira. Present teacher. Who is, who is saying present? Hoy sí es María Concepción. Ah, ok, María, María. Y yo okay. dije presente, pero cruzamos como tres presentes. Sí, sí, oí varios. Ok, Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Ok. Jenny. Jenny, not here. Uh, Yesenia. Present teacher. Diego Ernesto. Present teacher. And Brian, Javier. Present. Okay, for the moment. I got only one, two, three, four. Four. That are option. Okay, here we go. We are going to start a new class today. Let me show you something here in order that we can start it today. Today is our class number 10. Running a focus group conversation. That is the main topic for today. And we are going to start talking about this question. I hope that all of you can participate. And the first question said, is there a way to predict if your product will be accepted by the consumer? And the second one said, would you like to be a product tester? And the last one, have you heard about the term focus group? Okay, I'm going to read again the first one. Is there a way to, to predict if, you, if your product will be accepted by the consumer? Tell me, let us think about the first question first. And later on, we are going to talk about something else, okay? Let us talk about the first question. Do you consider that, is there a way to predict if you your product will be accepted by the consumer? What do you think about this question? Tell me. Uh, teacher. Come on, sir. There, there are a tool to predict any, anything. Okay. I, I think that tool is statistic. A statistic, okay. Yeah, if if the company or the or merchandising uh, make a story about the product uh, based in the statistics, maybe they can predict. Okay, good point, sir. Good point. Okay, somebody I want to add or share your ideas. Teacher, I think other tool is marketing. Ah, okay, marketing. Okay. Yes. yes. Uh, teacher, also the surveys. Companies uh, share surveys through social media or on the street. They ask for the product, what they expect what they want to. Okay, nice. Excellent. Somebody else, please. We already talk about statistic. We already talk about marketing and service, okay? What else?
Teacher. Hello. Um, someone person call it or in a supermarket and get a, get a product for taking. Okay. What else? What else can you tell me about it? Remember the question, is there a way to predict if your product will be accepted by the consumer? Of course, you already gave some keywords about this. What about the second question? Would you like to be a product tester? That sounds interesting. <laughs> yeah. All depend on the kind of product, maybe. Because the, there are special fields where people uh, do this kind of job. And they also have uh, special names. Uh, teacher, in my company, I was a panelist for two year testing uh, different raw material. Is a uh, in color in flower in olor, no me acuerdo cómo se dice. Teacher. Smell. Is the smell. Olor. No. Smell. 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 All right. Smell. Is the in the material is um in the the proveedor is a uh, a uh, one hundred percent. Como decir, no sé cómo decirlo es, pero que sea 100% natural el producto que nos están vendiendo los proveedores. 100% naturally. Um, no sé cómo decirlo. 100%, 100%. 100%. Natural. 100% natural, all right. Okay. Okay, in Spanish, people used to call it catador, you know, but in English, we call it tester, the people that mm -hmm. uh, try different product in order to be sure that uh, the client are going to be satisfied with the taste and with the smell, with the size, with all the features that a product must have in order that they can sell it in different markets, you know. Teacher, I don't know it's the same about um, food service. Como se dice, pero se hacen encuestas de aceptabilidad para los platillos servidos. Ah, ok. It is like uh, Misael, I guess, mentioned something about service. He mentioned something about that, I guess. Teacher. Hello, Misa. In, in one opportunity, I get uh, paid in a bus stop. I remember. Really? Uh, yes, I answered a, a short survey about a uh, snack. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And do you remember some question? Um, for example, if I prefer uh, the spicy or 
or not. Ah, okay, nice. That is important to know. Okay, let us see the last question that we have here. Have you ever heard about the term factious group? What is that? Any idea? Uh, well, I remember focus group is when the company or when they have a new product and they renew some groups with, I don't know, 20 people like so. And they ask them some questions about their product. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, somebody else? Thank you, somebody else? Teacher. Is there teacher you use in the market research? Okay. Let us see in this way. Imagine that your company is going to create a new product. But this new product, uh, you need to focus in a specific group of people in the market. I don't know, but I, I would like to hear an example about what I'm talking about. Or maybe somebody wants to add something. Teacher. Tell me, Galileo. A focus group is a little group of people who are selection to research, research uh, something specific. Okay. In this case, by the example is a product. They, they tell your opinion, your ideas, and the goal is the investigation about one topic. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, let us see a conversation about this topic. Okay, we have a here with the following conversation between two colleagues. They are getting ready to organize and run a focus group study. This conversation is between Moises and Fernanda. I invite you to read it and later on I'm going to pronounce it. But first of all, I need to get familiar with the, with the words. Try to read it, please.
Okay, I'm going to read it. Have you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus groups? Sure, Moises. We will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. Will we work with uh, targeted or random samples? In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location of each. You're right. Because we want to find out the overall perception of the product, we will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon. So we were on it. Okay. Okay, I'm going to read it again. Have you made any progress with the sample selection for the Fox groups? Sure, Moises. We will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect a great result. Will we work with targeted or random samples? In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group in the location of each, you are right, because we want to find out the overall perception of the product, we will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it is necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so, we work on it. We work on it. Okay, I need, uh, if you have any doubt how to pronounce the word, just let me know, please. No, teacher. Teacher. Tell me. Hello, somebody say teacher. Uh, I have a question, teacher. Okay, tell me. Um, it's the how how is the right pronunciation of let's see it's in the second dialogue when when it say twenty four participant to collect accurate or accurate result accurate no. uh -huh, that one. No, it is accurate accurate result. Accurate result. Okay. Ac accurate you. result. Accurate. Okay, another question that you have? Said, sure, Moses, we will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. What I want to explain you here, it is just that uh, at the moment that we use this word uh, in a context, is sound in this way, accurate, accurate. 
to collect accurate result. Teacher. Hello, sir. What is the correct pronunciation of the um, Moises, el, el ultimo? Future, future more. Oh. Furthermore, furthermore. Father. Furthermore. 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 Okay. Furthermore, it is necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get it the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we, we work on it. Thank you, teacher. Okay. What else? Okay. I need to volunteer who wants to read it. Me, teacher. Okay. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay, have you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus group? Sure, Moises. We will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. Will we work with target on random samples? In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location for each. You're right, because we want to find out the overall perception of the product, we will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it is necessary to create a well designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon. So we work on it. Thank you. Somebody who wants to read it? Me, me, young teacher. Uh, me. How do you make any progress with the simple selection for the focus group? Sure, my says. We will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. Well, we work with target or random simple. In addition, we need to discuss what will be monitoring age group and the, local, and the localization of age. You're right, because we want to find out the overall perception of the problem we will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create our discerned questionnaire to, to get the specific information we require. Exactly. Um, all Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on Okay, so please I need that you repeat this word, need, we need. Need. Each. 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 Design. 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 You need to put your, the tip of your tongue in the upper teeth. Necesita poner la punta de su lengua en los dientes superiores al terminar la palabra. Design. 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 Okay, much better. Somebody else? 
Mi teacher, Diego. Ok, Diego, en. Mi teacher, Zaira. En Zaira, ok. Let us do it now. First, have you made okay. any progress with the sample selection for the focus groups? Normally says we will have three groups of uh, at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. Will, will we work with targeted or random samples? In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location for each. You're right, because we want to find out the overall reception of the product. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, is necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. We'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. Thank you, teacher. Teacher microphone. Unmute. Okay, I'm going to read the last time. Have you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus group? Sure, Moises. We will have three group of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. We will work with a targeted or random sample. In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group in the location of each. You're right, because we want to find out the overall perception of the product. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a, a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. Okay, that's it. Let us practice. Let me see, I got 20. I got 20. Okay, here we go. Remember that I create uh, this group automatically. Los grupos se crean automáticamente. En la misma plataforma los crea. Así es que si les aparece la misma persona, eh, it's not my fault, ¿ok? Ahí es el sistema, como dicen los bancos. El sistema, es culpa del sistema. Ok, here we go.
I'm sorry, I don't know what is happening with my microphone. Suddenly, mute Excel. I don't know why. Are you ready or need more time? Do you need more time to do it? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. More time, yes, teacher. more time. There, but the reading I made by myself. Ah, okay. Yes. I don't know why, Claudia, uh, if I assign you somebody, I suppose that is gonna be someone that is here in the class. Okay. Maybe uh, something happened, I don't know what, but. Okay, I'm going to share with you something that is important to have it in, you, in the WhatsApp group. It, it is related with the question that I guess Misael asked me about the word accurate. Uh, we can find uh, some rules related with objective that end with the word A-T-E, sometime. I'm going to send you in order that you can have it. Because suddenly we tend to forget it. You have it there, I guess. You can take a look of it. Son los adjetivos con terminaciones en ATE, and the way that we need to produce the sounds. There are a lot of examples, and I already shall we use some. I'm going to send you some a second. Okay, you have it there. You can take a look of it. In order to clarify the question, okay. Thank you, teacher. That's that's great. Yes, Oscar, because suddenly uh, at the moment that we are speaking, we can hear it in a different way. Because sometimes uh, when we are learning in a new language, uh, we we tend to produce the sound in, in, in a correct way, but suddenly at the moment that you already know how to speak English, uh, you can hear it in a different way, even from an American. And for that reason, sometimes it is really important to have the clear rules that we need to follow. You have some example there, okay? I was asking you if you need more time in order to practice the conversation or if you are ready. I'm ready. I'm ready, teacher. Okay, let, let us do it now, please. Who wants to start? Who, who wants to be the first? Me, teacher, with Wendy. Okay. Wendy, please. Okay. I'm Moises. Yeah. Ha <laughs> have you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus groups? Sure, Moises. We will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect a, a current results. Will we work with targeted or random samples? In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location of each. You're right, because we want to find out the overall perception of the product. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire 
to get the specific information we require. It'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Diego. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, please. Me, teacher. Okay. Carlos. Okay, sorry. Okay. Have you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus group? Sure, my says we will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. Will we work with targets on random samples? In addition, we need to discuss who who will be monitoring each group and the lo location of each. You're right, because we want to find out the overall reception of the product. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it is necessary to create, to create a will decide questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I meet Lucas today in the afternoon. So we work on it. Thank you, Carlo. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Zamaria wants to say something. Mayra, I need this show. How do you make any progress with the sampling selection for the group focus group? Sure, Moises. We will have three groups of at least 24 participants to call it a great result. We will work with targets or random samples. In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location of each. You are right, because we want to find out the overall perception of the product, we will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it is necessary to create a will design questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. Okay. Next, please. Who's next? Who's next? Hello, teacher. Me and Anna Lilian. Okay, Carlos. Okay. Okay. I start. Sí, aquí está. Lilian. Okay. How do you make any progress with with the sample selection for the focus group? Sure, my says we will have three group of the least 24 participants to collect accurate results. We will, work, will we work with targeted or random samples? In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location of each. You're right, because we want to find out to overall participation of the product we work for random simple sample, pardon. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well designed thing. <coughs> Questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon. So we work on it. 
So how is the color pronunciation teacher design the, the thing? Design, design. Design. Yeah, with D at the end. Design. Design questionnaire. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, let me see the attendance now. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Bautista. Escobar. Present. Claudia. Present. Francis. Present. Galileo. Present, sir. Jonathan. Jose Rodrigo. Juan Carlos. Present. Laura. Present, teacher. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Present, teacher. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Okay. Teacher, a mí no me mencionó. Mayra. Sí. Oops, I'm, I do really sorry. I apologize. Mayra Veralice. Teacher. Hello. Uh, I was in mute when you say my name, but present. <laughs> okay, what, what's your name? Carlos Bautista. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wonder why you didn't answer. I got it. I got it, I got it. Okay, Saira. Present teacher. Santo Misael. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny Suleyma. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. No está Jenny. Eh, Lisette Asensio. Present teacher. Present. Diego, Diego Ernesto. Present teacher. En Brian Javier. Present teacher. Brian. Present. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it, Brian. I got it, Brian. I got it, Brian. Okay, before to continue with another part of the topic that we have, I would like to hear um, something related with the conversation that we have here. Uh, at the beginning, we talk about focus group. Now, what can you tell me about it? Now that you have seen this conversation, what is that? What do you consider it is? What is the difference between targeted or random samples? What is that? Random is uh, in, in any people with a specific selection. Okay. And targeted is some kind of people to with have no legend about one top or one research. Okay, okay. 
And this K also could be re related to female or, or male. And also sometimes can talk about a specific edges, right? Okay. Yeah, that's okay. right. Okay, okay, okay. What else? Remember that they are, they are trying to look for perception of the product. For that reason, uh, they need to look for a random sample in order to know exactly what is happening with the product. It is not like uh, when somebody makes a survey of politics that they just uh, look for the people that is going to talk in the right way about dance. Do you know what I'm saying? And when we talk about a product, it's, it's totally different, you know? Okay, let us continue. We have some questions to resolve. Let me share it. No, 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 it's not that one. It's this one, it's this one. Okay, we have some questions to talk about. We have, we have three questions and you are going to discuss in prayer, read the conversation again and discuss the answers to the question below. How many focus group will participate in the, in the test? The second one, what type of sample has Fernanda selected for the testing process? And the number three say, who will design the questionnaire? Who will design the questionnaire? Okay, you are going to answer this question in a breakout room with somebody else, okay? If you don't have it, make an screenshot now. We are going to rearrange the groups. Okay. You are going to have like uh, four minutes to talk about it. And then you can tell me, what do you think about that?
Okay, I guess you have enough time to talk about these three questions. Just tell me. You can read question one and give me the answer, please. Me, teacher. Okay. Diego, how many focus group will participate in the test? Um, I think 24, teacher. 24? 24 groups, teacher. Mm. Is, uh, three no, groups. three groups. Three groups. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sorry. 24 is participant. Yes, it is. That's right. Okie dokie. I see that you are with the eye open. I like that, I like that, okay. Second question, please. I need to share what type of sampling has Fernanda selects for their testing process is for a random sampling. Okay, a random sample. Okay, and the last one, number three, please. Number three, teacher, who will design the questionnaire? And uh, Moises and Lucas. Okay, let me check up. I want to be sure about that. Yeah, Moises and Lucas, okay. Okie dokie. Okay, in order to continue, we are going to talk about product development and testing. I guess that you remember this topic. It is at the bottom of the page 21. And I'm going to ask you to help me read it. Okay, hold on, hold on a second, please. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, before to talk about this, what comes to your mind at the moment that you see this topic, new product development process? Let us brainstorm this. Okay, I'm waiting. Any idea or what? When you see the, the topic new product development process, what comes to your mind and tell me? Proceso para desarrollar un nuevo producto. A set of steps to launch a new product, maybe. Okay, nice. Somebody else? Okay, we are going to talk about new product and also new product development and process. And at the end, we are going to make a conclusion about this topic. And I need somebody help me to read this, please. And later on, we are going to talk about it. Who wants to read it? Me, teacher. Okay. New product. A product is anything that can be offered to a make to a market to satisfy needs and wants. A new product is any product which is perceived by customers as 
begging new. New product category. New to the world. New to the product line. Addition to the existing product line. Improvement and revision of existing products. Reposition, cost reduction. Okay, somebody wants to explain me this. Give me your ideas about what you got about this slice. Tell me. You can say it in your one in your own words. Yeah, the slice is uh, showing the difference between a general concept of product and a new product. Okay. Uh, and show it to the different categories by approach. Okay, the different uh, categories that we can find yeah. in, an, in a new product, okay. Maybe something that is new to the world or uh, new to the product lines, addition to the existing product line improvement and revision to existing product, repositioning, cost reduction, and different aspects that we need to consider, take into consideration when we talk about a new product, right? Okay. Okay, somebody else wants to read it, please. Hello? Only one, no more than one. Let me finish. Uh, new product development process. New product development in developments of original products, products improvements, product modification, in new branch, clothes, in fears of your ear, no sé cómo diría. R&D, R&D. R&D efforts. R&D effort. This process consists of following steps. Okay. Idea generation, idea screening, concept development and testing, marketing strategy development, business analogy, product development, marketing the testing, and commercialization. Commercialization. Commercialization, all right. Oh, okay. All right, right here we have all the steps that we need to follow. In. This, is, this is a process, as somebody of you said. At the moment that a new product is going to be developed, we need to follow uh, this step. And I, know, I guess that we already talked about idea generation, idea screening, concept development and testing marketing and strategy development, business analysis, product development, market testing and commercialization. Maybe I know that some of you maybe could remember something about it. Do you remember? I guess the, we saw it uh, the first week. No? Yes. Okay, let us see what, what, what happened. In... Okay, let us talk about idea generation. What is that? Somebody wants to read it, please. Okay. Uh, idea generation is continuous, systematic search for new product opportunities. Ideas for using creativity generating techniques and generated through films, internal source and external source. Okay. Internal, we have R&D, employee. External, we have customers, competitors, suppliers, distributors, online opinion. 
Okay, I guess it is so clear. This is the, 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 the first step. The idea generation is something that we need to follow in order. Uh, in order to see all the opportunity that a new product could have, could has in the markets, you know. And also, uh, we need to see different aspects like internal and external. And we need to take into account all this aspect. If we if we talk about customer, we can we can ask maybe some question or maybe uh, before to launch the product, we need to, we need to pass a survey in order to know exactly if, if they uh, are expecting something like we are creating. What about the second one? Okay. Teacher. Hello, sir. Question, R and D is research and what? Research and develop. Develop, okay, thank you. Yeah. Research and develop. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, remember that in this case, we are talking about internal. That is why we have it here. how we are going to develop uh, this product and then at the same time, how we are going to make a research in order to be sure that everything is going to be fine for the product. Okay, in the second one, uh, we are talking about filtering the ideas to pick out good ones and dropping the poor ones. Do you know what is the meaning of this word dropping? Um, you are going to filter in the ideas to pick out good ones and drop in the poor ones. What does it mean, drop? Throw? Yep. It's like put down. It is like if I have this and I and, and, and I say do it in this way, you know? What does it mean in Spanish? I want to be como, sure that you 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 know what is that. Como votar, como descartar. Sol, okay. Soltar. Okay. Could be. Acuérdense que en español tenemos un montón de sinónimos. Ah, entonces in in the in the second one in idea screening is is the main purpose. Is, it is that to get good ideas and 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 drop the poor ones. Right. It involves a preliminary elimination process in which a large number of, of product ideas are screened in terms of the organization objective. And also something that has to be technical, feasibility and financial viability too. We need to take uh, into account all these aspects of the product. And also we are going to, to head a total ideas, our categories into three groups. They are, let me see, promising ideas, marginal ideas and rejected ideas. What do you, th what, what do you know about this three different categories? of ideas. Depend on the kind of ideas, they classif classify each idea and take the most important, uh, take the medium important and they react uh, more important ideas. Okay, and the last step. In the screen and ideas, the, the companies normally face two serious errors. 
and they try to avoid this mistake, drop error and go errors. What is the meaning of that? We already talked about the meaning of the word drop, but what is, what is drop errors? And what could be go errors? Uh, I think it's like prueba y error. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, but, but, but I, 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 I don't know what I, I can explain this concept. Yeah, but, but what you said, it is, we use it in language that is called try and error. Try and error. Yeah, try and error is what you said. Try and error. Prueba error. Okay. Prueba, prueba error. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. But in this case, we are talking about drop error and go error. Okay, in this case, maybe uh, when they say drop errors, mean that sometimes they can uh, resolve some problems that they are facing with the product. But sometimes they look for different aspect and they continue doing it in the same way, no matter if the, if the error is there. But they, what they are looking is just to make money and no matter what happened at the end, you know? Okay, let us see the number three. Okay, council development and testing. Who wants to read it? Me teacher. Okay. It says here the product idea is converted into product concept. Product idea means possible product that company may offer to the market. A product concept is a detailed version of the idea stated in meaningful consumer terms. When Development product concept following criteria should be considered. Who will use the product? What primary benefits should this product provide? When will this product be consumed? Concept testing means presenting the product concept to target customer, physically or symbolically, and getting their reactions. Okay. Somebody wants to talk about this slide? In one line, you have the concept of this slide. A product concept is a detailed version of the idea stated in meaningful consumer terms. I don't know if, if it is clear. And don't forget that we need to consider uh, these three questions that we have here. Who, what, and when. And I need that you take into account these three, these three words, who, what, and when, because we are going to use it later on. Imagine that I ask you to create a new product. You need to think about who will use, who will use it. And also what primary benefit should this product provide to the person that is going to buy it. When will this product be consumed? We, we need to think about this. And in the moment that you are going to make a constant testing, 
uh, we need to target consumer in order to see their reaction. What does mean? Somebody want to explain me this, please? Hello, are you there? Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. I suppose that you are still reading the concept teacher. in order to tell me something about this. Okay, tell me. Concept testing is like a first reaction of customers when you present the 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 product concept the, the the product okay okay excellent somebody wants to give me an example about this Think, think about it. Mm, teacher, um, for example, um, we will create um, a hat. Uh, this is idea, but we need uh, thinking. Who uses this hat? A woman, a man, a child. Um, what is the primary benefit? Is um, luxury um, for the for the sun? For, um, I don't know for the work. Uh, and when uses the product and in summer, for example. Okay, in summer. At the moment that people uh, are going to the beach, maybe. Could be. Okay, what about this one? Somebody wants to read it, please. Me, yes, sir. Okay. After concept testing or concepts, that qualify a preliminary marketing strategy is created to introduce new products into market, understanding customer, analyze the market, analyze the competitions, research distribution channels, define marketing mix, analyze the financials, review and revise. Okay. That means that uh, we need to take into account all those aspects. Let us talk about the first one, understanding the consume, the customer. What is, what is that? What do you think about that? What the customer need? Ah. Okay, nice. Could be. <clears throat> it has to, to be also with the price that the product is going to have.
And at the same time, you need to analyze the market because maybe there are another products that um, added, excuse me? I'm sorry. Continue if you want to say something. No, sir, I, I am mute. Okay, okay. Okay, what I'm saying is that you need to analyze the market in the way that um, maybe there are some product with the same price and offering the same quality. And you need to be sure about that because in that way you are going to analyze the competition that you are going to have. And remember, if you want to be to get success in a, with the product, you need to create something new based on the people needs. Then that way you are going to sell a lot. And also we need to make a, a research distribution channel, how you are going to do it. Right here, I would like to hear some examples about it. I know that you have uh, some ideas about this. What can you tell me? When we talk about distribution channel. Maybe uh, the kind of modality to to send the products until the customer maybe if if the product is a shampoo for example uh, the channel may be uh sala de belleza beautiful salons maybe supermarket, maybe uh, prestigious uh, stores. I think that those are the channels to distribution by approach. Okay, that means that you need to research, you need to investigate how you are going to distribute your product. And you need to have a clear idea how you are going to do it. And at the same time, if you are going to sell it only just in your in the market, or if you are going to sell it uh, online, if you are going to have uh, to deliver it in different places in in the country, all those aspects has to be with channels, distributions, and also. Uh, has to be with the with the marketing mix. How we are going to to create um, the presentation of the product? How you are going to do it? Maybe you are going to use uh, television. You are going to use social media and different uh, ways. How uh, that people can get the information about this product. But also you need to analyze the, the financial. That, that means uh, all the money that you need to spend in order to, to move the product. And also remember that if you are going to pay an ad in television, it's so expensive. For that reason, you need to take into account all, this, all those aspects. As soon as you do this, you can make a review of all the steps that you are going to follow and check it. And if you are sure that everything is fine, go ahead and start doing it. Uh, I have a I have a couple of experience okay. about uh, about the promotion of a mark. I was working in um, uh, Cinepolis, El Salvador. Okay. Some some time ago, 
and they don't have a presupuesto, I don't remember the word. They don't have a pres uh, presupuesto. They, they don't have presupuesto to uh, show his marks in Napoli. So they said uh, we going to know in front of our customer mouth, mouth of mouth, the boca a boca promotion. Ah, uh -huh, okay. Uh, so the strategics was when a customer get in the cinema, they say to another people, Cinepolis is a good place to visit. Ah, okay. That that was the strategic in that time. Uh, in that, Papa that, John, that means that uh, Cinepolis it doesn't have any budget. I'm sorry, I don't understand. No, no, eso significa que no tenía ningún presupuesto. No, any, okay. any presupuesto. Oh, okay. Yeah. In, in Papa John's was a similar case uh, because the, ¿cómo digo presupuesto? No recuerdo la palabra. Budget. 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 Papa John, when, when Papa John starts, in El Salvador, they have not uh, <laughs> presupuesto. I'm sorry. I... Budget, 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 budget. Thank you. They have any budget to to promotion the mark, the mark, the brand. Okay. So so they put on practice another strategic free pizza for one day a year. Oh, really? That was the strategy to, to when they start in El Salvador. Oh. One day of free pizza a year. Oh, okay. Yeah. At least 12 hours, uh, all the restaurants give to the customer free pizza, any cost to the customer. Oh, really? Yeah. And oh. was good, strategic. But not now. No cost. <laughs> was only just at the beginning. Yeah. Only was in the beginning. Yeah, in in order that people the can people. Taste. I'm sorry. In order that people can taste it and and, and feel the difference from uh, maybe Pizza Hut or Little Caesar, yeah, it was a good way in order that people can get related with this kind of uh, pizza, right? Yeah, I think that was a good strategy. And the people turn on the line during two or three hours before oh. they they came to the restaurant. Okay. But but Papa John's is very ingredient, very peace. So vale la pena. <laughs> okay. Okay, let us continue. Who wants to read the number five business analysis? What is that? Who, who wants to read it? Hello, are you there? Are you still there? Me teacher. Okay. Ladies first. Okay, ladies, ladies first. All right. <laughs> These states will decide whether from financial as will uh, marketing boy on the way 
the project is beneficial or not. Okay. I, I get a monocyte. This stage okay. will decide whether from financial as well as marketing point of view, the project is beneficial or not. What is that? What do you understand about this stage? In this step is we will win or we will fail. <laughs> yeah. For the reason is really important the, the analysis. Okay, continue, lady. Okay. Estimate like it's selling price the basin upon competition and customer feedback. Estimate sales and volume. No sé cómo pronunciar ahí, teacher. Volume. Volume. Base, volume. Volume based upon size on the market. Stay profi, profi, profitably. Profitability and break ever points. If about our match with the company's objectives, the, the, then the new products concept, multi product development stage. Estimate like selling price based upon competition and customer feedback. What is that? Hello. And also estimate sales volume based upon size of market. Teacher. Hello? And um, that means that companies uh, simulate an amount of sellings and they measure how, how much they will earn for each selling, something like that. Okay, okay. And some company, they say, okay, if you are looking, for example, if you want to buy a bed, and of a special brand. And you say, no, I got it uh, cheaper in another place. And they, and they tell you, okay, let us see how much you can get it there and we are going to give it that price. Have you heard that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they, and, and they are putting in practice this because they are uh, selling price based up uh, upon competition and customer feedback. Okay, let us see the time. I got only just nine minutes. Okay, let's go to the next step, please. Okay, what about this one? Oops. I need to move a little bit. Can you read it? Product development. Yes. Okay, product development. Up to now, the product has existed only as a word description, a drawing. The company will now determine whether the product idea can translate 
into a technically and commercially feasible product. That means that in the way that we are going to develop a product, we need to follow some a step like produce a physical prototype. That is the first step that we need to do. As soon as we have it, we are going to test the product. And then we are going to conduct a focus group customer. And if it is necessary, we are going to make adjustments about the product in order to have something that people are going to ask for it. They are going to, to ask. But remember, we need to follow these steps. The first thing that we need to do is just to have a, a, a physical prototype about the product and then you are going to test it. And later on, we are going to do something like that is called focus group customer that you are going to ask on a specific question. And based on that, if it is needed uh, to make some changes, you are going to do it. That is the main point here. And let me see what is the next. Talking about marketing testing. Right here, uh, now the product is ready to be branded with a name, logo, and packaging and go into a preliminary market testing. That is the, the reason why the name market testing. Marketing testing involves placing a product for sale in one or more selected areas and observing its actual performance under the proposed marketing plan. And also uh, right here, we need to follow some steps. And we have some method for market testing. Sales way research, what is that? Do you know what is cell uh, weight research? Hello? So I mean that you need to have a diagram uh, in order to know exactly uh, the amounts of product that you that you sold the last months. And, and, and for example, this month, then you are going to have a, an idea about how it's moving the product. And sometimes you are going to simulate test marketings, control testing marketing and test market. Uh, that means that we have different methods in order to test uh, a market, you know. Sometimes we see different people in, in, in markets and maybe what they are doing is just watching the reaction of the people about a, a specific product, you know. And suddenly maybe the, there is another product with the same characteristic, but uh, in a different brand and people prefer it. And, and that is what they keep in studying in order to make some changes. Okay, let me see what else we have here because we are so close to. Okay, who wants to talk about commercialization? That it, this is the last step. Who wants to read it? Hello? Me, teacher. Okay, tell me. Commercialization. After successful market testing, new product comes to commercialization 
stage during this stage production of new product on a commercial basis is rapi rapidly built up and implementing a total marketing plan for formally launching a new product with the following decision to be taken. A, when to launch timing. B, where to launch geographic strategy. C, to one target market prospect. And D, how to launch introductory market strategy. Okay, to whom, to whom? To whom? Yeah, okay. to, to whom? A quien, a quien is target market pro prospect. That means that you need to look for the prospect. Okay, this is really important, when to launch, the time that you are going to launch a product. And also talking about geographic strategy, the strategy, uh, you need to know exactly uh, in all the places that you are going to set it, you know, that people can buy it. And the last step that how to launch it. That means how you are going to use to in, introduce into the market. You need to look for a good plans in order to do it. Well, we have talked about uh, the eight different step. I don't know, but um, in order to finish this class today, I would like you to hear, uh, I would like to hear from you that give me a summary, a brief summary about all the stages. Who wants to tell me? I'm going to stop here. In conclusion, what we can say about it. Okay. Who want to start? What is the first stage of the process? I mentioned eight different steps. Try to remember, please. Idea generation. Future. So is that the first one? Uh, yes. It is called idea generation. Idea generation. Okay. What about the second one? Business analysis. It is, that is number five, I guess. The second is idea screening. Ah, okay, idea screening. What about the third one? Concept development and testing. Concept development and testing. Development and testing, okay. Number four. Marketing strategy development. Okay, number five. Business analysis. analysis. Business analysis, number six. Product development. Product development, number seven. Market testing. And the last one? Commercialization. Commercialization. Okay. 
Well, I hope that you have understood all these steps in order to have a, a good idea about this process, right? Because sometimes it, it is not easy to understand it, but we need to create some examples in order to have a clear idea about this step. Okay, let me see the time that we have now. We are so close to finish. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here about the different stages. And also you can have a, some ideas about product development and testing. On page number 21, you can find some link. You have two, two different links. And you can see also a video related with this. It is in Trivago, I guess. And there you can have more information about it. But you have some link in your book and you can check it. Okay, teacher. Yes, because sometime maybe you can say, I don't know why he is talking about this uh, topic, but it is related with the, with the link that we have. And okay, uh, let us see Ana Beatriz Campos. Are you there? I'm sent teacher. Ana Lilian Reyes. <coughs> Present teacher. Autista. Present teacher. Escobar. Present. Claudia. Present. Elise eh, Francis. Está. Galileo is there. Jonathan. Present, Miss. Mr. Rodrigo, 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 Juan Carlos, Laura. Okay, uh, Present, Maria Concepcion. Present. Um, let me see, Maria Elena. Present, teacher. Mayra. Present, teacher. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Zaira. Present teacher. Misael. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny. Yesenia. Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. Ryan. Okay. Today is the term uh, to Juan Carlos Rivas to stay at the end of the class. Okay. Podría ser eh, mañana, teacher. Okay. No problem. Maybe somebody else wants to be today. Laura is going to be tomorrow. Maria Concepcion is going to be on Wednesday. Mayra is going to be on Thursday. Let me see, let me see. And Miguel Angel is going to be on Friday. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. Uh, I've been talking about different stages and how to develop a product. You can get more information. I already told you, you have two links where you can uh, open it and, and read about this topic and you can have more information about it, okay? I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night, and, tomorrow. Okay.
Okay, good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. God bless, bless you too. Bye bye, Maria Elena. Bye bye, teacher. Que ando perdido en los botones. <laughs> Le perdieron los botones. <laughs> Solo una pregunta, aprovechando, eh, chiquitita. ¿Verdad que las palabras en negría son continuative connectors? connectors lo del, de la lectura del, del material. Me está hablando de las últimas de la conversación. Ah, la conversación que estaba en el material. Sí, esas se llaman... Son transition of addition. Para buscar qué son exactamente. Se llaman transition words. Transition words. Okay. Sí, así se llaman. Transition words. Gracias, teacher. Esas esa las vamos a, a ver a fondo el día de mañana. Pero voy a ver qué son porque no, no, no. <ríe> voy a adelantar un poquito. <ríe> transition words. Sí, transition words se llaman. Sí, es que fíjese que como este material eh, en, ya en el nivel intermedio, él, él siempre viene como se llama con las cuatro unidades. Ajá. Pero si usted ha notado eh, en las lesson plan que nos dan, sí, en las lesson plan que nos dan a nosotros, eh, en algunas clases si has fijado que solo vemos una página del material uh -huh. y luego nos ampliamos con otro tema que está relacionado pero que es de los links que aparece ahí uh -huh. ¿sí? entonces por eso yo les decía de que algunas veces alguien puede de decir pues ni de dónde saca eso y por qué está diciendo eso si el libro no lo tiene pero por ejemplo lo que vimos el día de hoy está sugerido en la página 21 al final de la página ahí aparece algo que se llama Product Development and Testing. Y ahí aparecen dos links. Y, y justamente en, en la planificación que nos dan a nosotros aparece el desarrollo de, de, de esos temas. Sí. Entonces ya en el intermedio, eh, como que el material sí lo, lo tomamos mucho en cuenta pero nos sirve de base para poder ir desarrollando algo otros temitas que no están impresos ahí. Están y por desarrollados eso, así como de demás. Sí, entonces por eso es que de repente ven y dicen, ven y de dónde sacó esta diapositiva que está hablando. <risa> pero es así precisamente que tenemos que preparar este, ese tipo de materiales. Así que el día de mañana vamos a hablar de esas palabras y vamos a hacer algunos ejercicios relacionados a ellas. Uh -huh. Así que manténgase ahí para que... <risa> sí, para... para... Sí, así es. Y lo más importante cuando tengo una duda, pues hacer la pregunta ahí. Y bueno, luego buscamos eh, darle la, la claridad posible para que, para que todo... Fíjese que a veces algunos temas... Hay algunas cuestiones que eh, son un tanto complicadas en explicárselas en un ratito. Por ejemplo, en lo que preguntaba Misael Maff, creo, en la terminación de la, de la pronunciación de la palabra accurate. Entonces ahí yo les mandé, por ejemplo, un listado, pero también eh, existe otra información donde... Eh, cuando no son adjetivos y, y son verbos, se pronuncian diferente. Entonces, a veces no les doy toda la información porque tal vez no es el momento adecuado y se pueden confundir demasiado. Pero ya que les mandé esa, ya que les mandé esa parte, les voy a mandar eh, un link de una página para que se, se la lean y van a decir, bueno, y esto como, ¿por qué...? Ahí se va a dar cuenta. De verdad que ese accurate es como decir exactly o exacto. Es, es que, es que la, eso de accurate, eso, eso es como, como algo que es bien perfecto. Uh -huh. Sí. Eso así, así funciona. Así es que es de, es de tenerle un poco de estar listo porque... 
una cosita bien simple puede confundirse. Entonces, y, y la idea tal vez no es confundirlos, sino clarificar la, la, lo, lo que preguntan. ¿Verdad? Pero uno se centraliza justo en la pregunta, porque si ya se va más amplio, eh, se confunde. Sí, más, más el idioma es que es bien amplio. Y aún en español hay cosas que no me acuerdo. El volador que en español ha tenido que buscar cómo era, porque ni en español sé cómo. Se me olvida. Ah, sí. sí, pero ahí van avanzando poco a poco. Y eso es importante, que vayan creando su banco de datos, de palabras nuevas, la forma de pronunciarse, que las vayan escribiendo en un cuaderno. Y así van avanzando mucho. ¿Verdad? Así es que mañana le terminamos de explicar el tema de las palabras que me preguntó hoy. Gracias. Oh, ok. Have a good night. Good night. Ok.